If you're considering buying a multifamily investment property, here are three important things to consider. Number one, how will you be financing this purchase? If you're getting a mortgage, you'll need to make sure you've informed your lender that the property you're looking at is a multifamily because there's different considerations that play into the pre-approval process. For example, the lender will need to factor in the rental income as part of how much you'll be approved for. And if you're getting an FHA loan, you'll be required to occupy one of the units as your primary residence. Number two, find out if there are current tenants. If there are, make sure to find out the terms of their leases. Do they have a fixed term lease or are they month to month? If they have a fixed term lease, this doesn't expire when the property is sold, so we'll transfer it from the previous owner to you. Number three, if there are tenants, do you wanna keep them? The positive side of keeping the tenants is that you would have rent roll coming in from the beginning, assuming they're reliable paying tenants. However, if you have plans to make any updates to the property or plan to live in one of the units, you may prefer to have one or all of the units delivered vacant. For month-to-month -month leases, this is fairly easy. The current owner just has to give the current tenant 60 days notice. But for fixed term leases, you'll have to wait for the terms of the lease to expire or consider other options like offering the current tenants cash for keys where they agree to cancel the lease early in exchange for some sort of compensation. Now, all properties have different considerations, so you'll definitely wanna make sure you have trusted partners to help you guide you along the way. But these are just three important factors to consider as you're getting started in the process.